Yeah. Uh, and West will lead the diamond. And they'll set up their diamonds. West has the entry. The ace of spades. But, let's see, four diamond tricks and the ace of spades. Can declare and negotiate the rest. Well, clubs don't come in. The queen of spades is on side. Is that enough for him? Three spades, two hearts, five. Yeah, I think he will make it. Indeed he will. He, he, he can play on spades. And that will allow him to make. They will set up a trick for him in diamonds, obviously. So, position bidding, David. Two no trumps. How often do you have exactly eight tricks and two no trumps? You do here. Well, if you ignore all the fantastic tens and nines they've got, it's just 14 opposite seven, so you wouldn't want to be in two no trumps. But we can see that everything uh, extra in hearts, spades, in diamonds, and in clubs on certain breaks would uh, quite likely give extra tricks, so they were well worth bidding to that level. Yeah, and we already up to 1,200 at this table. We'll get more. What did I predict yesterday when I sent you the email? Did I said, I think I wrote 1,500 plus, didn't I? I think so, yeah. That was my prediction. Yes, but your email did not contain the prediction that uh, there would be 1,500 plus watching the women's match between France and Poland, where uh, I think it was Peter and I watching, so, or no, Graham and I, yes. So that was absolutely fantastic for a women's game. I mean, they, they must have been delighted, the organisers. Absolutely. And it was such a high quality match. No drop in standard whatever from the Open, quite the contrary. Very low scoring score, something like 13-3, I think, after 16 boards, and very good bidding and play, play too. No, it ended 15-16, did it not? I think it did. 15-16. Yeah, yep. one imp per board, fantastic. Mm. Absolutely. We had a wonderful match uh, the previous round, England against Norway. England winning by 20. They played very well. Robson Forrester, marvellous defence against, against four spades. Certain one down, they even took it two down. That's absolutely amazing. Now you're prolicious again, David. Sorry. I'm not sure that isn't the third different mistake. <laughs> anyway, no. doesn't matter at all. I can see the right spelling in any way. Uh, well, no, 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 no. One of the errors were, was in the book. What were you, Lucius? B R U, I think. So easy bidding, just natural. Now, I was discussing yesterday about overcalling two hearts on five card suits. Yeah, you see, he's done it. Yeah, red against white. They just love to get their five card heart suit in. Just think, I mean, that could be an enormous penalty on a bad day. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it's a pretty good hit. So, he wanted to get involved. Obviously, Laria couldn't reopen with a double. He responded light in face. And you see, that's what you get when you respond light. You get a lead away from the king, and now Declara has no spade losers. So this will play very well for him, despite the trump break, because uh, the ace of diamonds is. So this is probably what he needed to make. He 
You may argue that a club lead wouldn't have been any better, because they declared I could have set up a club in the dummy, the jack of clubs, uh, for a spare pitch later. So I don't think there was anything that Versace could have done here. Maybe double dummy, ten of clubs lead. Yeah, that that is double dummy. And we are up to the fifteen hundred now, David. So, yep, very very good. Yes, England are sixth, Italy are seventh, and Poland are eighth at the moment, and uh, we're predicting that as long as France don't have a disastrous slip up, the top seven teams will get into the Bermuda Bowl, which is as big a target as doing well in this event to get into the Bermuda Bowl, the absolute supreme event of the British calendar, although it's not the strongest field that you get, and some say it's no stronger than the European there are only two American teams, plus the qualifiers from uh, Europe, and not that many uh, world-class teams from outside those two areas. China, you can count, yeah. Yeah, China, indeed. Brazil, maybe. Japan. Sometimes South Africa but not many. Canada? Hmm. Well, those are all teams that have occasionally done well. Because the uh, sort of aggra aggravating thing for Europeans for ages has been that Australia and New Zealand always get through and to beat some tiny Polynesian islands, a couple of... Yeah. Uh, do you mention that uh, when you are coming when you uh, contact with, with Mr. Jacobs, and is it no. real when you mention that? He probably wouldn't be, so I don't mention it. Now, Bill, by the way, will be playing in the World uh, uh, Bridge Games in Poland in, in September. He, he, he won the trials. He was on the team winning the trials in Australia. So he's going to Poland. I get confused by the changes of names. Is that the what was previously known as the Olympiad? Yep, yep. Then it became Mind Games, <laughs> and and now they're Bridge Games. Well, that World Mind Games was a farcical title because I actually went to one of those when it was held in uh, Lille, was it? At some uh, French city, anyway, and there were just sort of no attendance at all at the other games like Mahjong and so, or something, so mm. Chinese chess, was it? Yeah, it was, it was really just all the was That was downgrading of the title. I mean, Olympic Bridge Championship sounds absolutely wonderful, but there we go. That's Well, that's all been lost. Yeah. If you were there, it was in 2012, because it was held in 2012 in Lille. So at Ruri Auction here, two clubs showing a near opener with space support. And out, I suppose, uh, with space and, and hearts. Will they get to the lucky game? It, it is a lucky game, one has to say. Where you need space to split, you need the hearts on side. So, it's not a great game, but you are vulnerable. Yes. Well, it's a bit similar to that hand that Bakshi had. He hasn't got such a fantastic hand, and not enough to go straight to... He rebid two hearts, and I think he would have sold out to two spades if West had bid just that. But three spades is enough to uh, 
persuade him to have a tilt as because the game's vulnerable, as you say. Do you see how lucky he is? Because there's no over rough in clubs. Norse has jack 10 9. So the sergeant can't over the 7. That's extremely lucky. Looks like a reverse attitude signal where you play low to encourage. That's a system of signaling that many of these players use because they don't like to uh, waste a high card to encourage. So that has a, a true benefit over the standard high low to encourage when it comes to attitude signals, but not when it comes to count signals. That's about to be symmetrical. No. He has had the nine, or the ten, or the jack of spades. This contract would go down. Now, Lauria this morning was complaining all the time, constantly, because he thought the Russians were so so lucky. He wasn't happy. He left the table, mm. and, and 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 you, you know, body language was not nice throughout and he won't be any happier here when he's dead jack ten nine of spades. They had a conversation at the table, the Sarchi and and and, and, Lauria, and and someone who who could understand Italian um, told me that well it's been so unlucky constantly. All the time. It's been yes, this is the tournament Every hand in luck for us. Rubbish, of course. Well, any what did anyway, you I mean, he's one of he's one of the world's senior and most famous players, so he can do it better than that. One would have thought. It's fairly obvious that uh, luck can go against you sometimes and go for you other times. So yeah. you should try and set a good example. What? Why did the player do this? I mean, he knew he would go down when he discarded. Yes, I know it's a remote chance inserting the seven of spades, but at least it's a chance. He didn't even try. He just conceded. Isn't that strange? Well, I suppose he didn't want to have Loria complaining about how lucky they'd been. That must be the explanation. Yeah. He had not to complain about really the Russians bit to a fifty percent slam. Not 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 bit in the other room. Well, that's not particularly unlucky. Yes, the finesse was on. Then Lauria himself uh, I think the very next board went down in a slam his way, uh, when he just tried to rough a diamond, that's all he needed. With King X in hand and Ace Jack ten to four in the dummy. So he cast the king and played to the ace buffed. Diamonds were 6-1. Was the singleton on lead and hadn't chose to lead the suit that had been bid? No, no. The six card suit was on lead. It didn't lead that suit. Better truck. Well, they say that uh, footballers should set a good example to all the young people watching. It's true in bridge that, I mean, uh, nobody actually watches much at the table. So if it hadn't been reported by uh, maybe, I don't know, was it the view graph operator was giving us extra information, which we normally like, nobody would know. But still, it's a shame, really. It's very difficult to buy the table, of course. and. Uh, 
but that's just part of part of it. I mean, bridge is known to be partly a game of luck. It's an enticing mixture of luck and skill. Absolutely. Now, now if you go to another match, uh, another great match, Iceland against France, they both bid for six spades. They both made it because at one table, West was the Clara, so South led his six and diamond, right? So no problem there. At the other table, East was the Clara, and North led away from his six card diamond suit. So no problem there. Well, they both went down. No, 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 they, they both made it, because you needed a 12th trick, somehow, and you would get it in diamonds if you need a diamond, it doesn't matter from which side, you see, when you have ace-jack 10x opposite king x. Oh, sorry, I was confusing it with the hand where he'd run into a rough, but of course he had ace uh, on a jack 10x opposite the other high honour on that one, yeah. But there were two six one diamonds breaks you were talking about. So I got confused. Uh, um, our East West are reigning BBO champions, right? What do you mean BBO champions? Do you mean mm, European champions? Bermuda Bowl. Or oh, Bermuda Bowl. Oh, Poland. Oh, oh. means Bermuda Bowl. Uh, well, Poland it did win the Bermuda Bowl? Well, that hand where the Jack 10 and 9 of Trumps were on side, I mean, that was much more lucky than normal because, I mean, the clubs were 5-2. Uh, so the hand with the short clubs is a huge odds to have one of those uh, three trumps. Right. So let's let's concentrate on this match now. Two spades is the contract. North South have taken three tricks. Declare is in command. Yeah, he still has five spade tricks. Oh, sorry, four spade tricks and the ace of diamonds. So no problems there. On board 20, Italy, well, Italy, well, it must be yeah, Italy in four spades also on the same lead. So let's see what Declara does there, if they play three rounds of clubs. He roughed with the seven. Well, obviously he roughed with the seven, Di Franco. I mean, discarding is giving up. The discard was completely useless, so you might as well rough anyway. Indeed, and it doesn't make sense to rough with a deuce, does it? So you try the seven, and obviously you expect to be over roughed. Just not today, it's your lucky day. Well, another thing is that you may be going down anyway, but I mean, if you if he over roughs you from jack 10 to 4, maybe he's using up a natural trick. So that saves you going 2 down. Indeed. So that would be a swing to Italy shortly. On to board 22. Playing the England. Norway match was very excruciatingly slow. At some point, they had, I think, 18 minutes for the last five boards. 
and they made it in time, would you believe, with Robson at the table. So this is another type of Polish one club opening, is it? For East? Oh, two uh, clubs, is no, it? No, two, two, two clubs. He's not strong enough for, for one club. Because plus when one plus. club... Yeah, when one club has... has it to be 15 plus, indeed. This is basically a precision two club opening. Two diamonds, a relay. You used to play precision, David, so you know all about this. Yes. It's the only convention that I ever applied for and got us for was a system of replying to two clubs that was quite good. If it went two clubs, two diamonds, you and you had a four card major, you bid the other major on the opening hand and that had quite a lot of advantages, it, particularly if you have two hearts to show spades. Your partner could then bid two spades and find out more. So they gave us a <laughs> <laughs> Probably about six people playing it in the whole world, but still, we played it for 20 years. So two diamonds a relay, three clubs denying a side suit. So three clubs confirming six. So you see, I think Rowland's told us a few times before that the Italians don't go in much for uh, lead directing doubles and Loria has not doubled two diamonds and that will be the killing lead against three no trumps should they uh, end up there. Yeah, but who's going to bid three now? No one is a stopper. The five clubs is the pool contract, isn't it? Yes. Yes. I mean, the Queen of Spades is on the side, but six clubs is too dicey, really, because uh, well, they could lead a trump and then another trump when you duck a diamond. So you'd have to have a discard somewhere. Have a discard on the spades, I suppose, but maybe. You you do, you don't want to be in six. No. You, you want to be in five clubs, yeah. Five no. clubs when three no trumps is going down is always a good spot. Indeed. So 12 well-deserved imps to Italy on board number 20. Deserved because the Polish declarer in this room didn't even try to make I'm asked if three clubs shows a minimum hand. Well, in early versions of Precision, yep. not that they're quite playing that, you could rebid either two no trumps or three clubs with a six card club suit and no major to uh, show. And the difference there was uh, it was divided by strength. Yeah, but here it's obvious because he has denied 15 plus, remember, when he didn't open one club. So it, it is 11 to 14. Yes, well that doesn't make much difference, does it, if you're playing precision, because uh, you open one club on a good one, you can still divide it in half, the whatever range is left. Cool. So, 11 to 14 indeed, with six clubs. Very nice club suit. And that's what Tukowski may fear, well, maybe partners' clubs aren't that great, so maybe he'll only invite. We shall see. And obviously, uh, East could also have three hearts, well, four hearts is an option. I don't know if he can bid a forcing three hearts now. I suppose he can. When he goes through a relay, that, that then 
Two hearts immediately over two clubs would be non-forcing. So two diamonds followed by three hearts would be forced. Yes, the alternative rebid system well, used to be two clubs, two diamonds, two no trumps showed a side suit of diamonds, but it's on their card that, well, they, they always open one diamond, of course, on four or five, rebidding two clubs, and then it's ambiguous which way around your suits are. With four six, I suppose they just ignore the diamonds. Doesn't say what the two no trump response to the relay would be. I mean, it's great that we've got convention cards so easily available off this BBO screen. None of them contain sort of endless pages of notes. It's just basically uh, two pages. One with all the opening bids, the descriptions, the responses, and the other one giving the meaning of all the doubles and cubits and jump over calls, that sort of thing. Do you remember that I had to go to page six the other day when Croatia was on? Because it went two clubs, three hearts from responder. Spades and two kings, no aces. I think you were with me there, weren't you? Oh yes, that was that spectacular <clears throat> hand with five hearts doubled mm. uh, down seven, right? Yeah. One guy says he can't hear my voice, but he can hear yours. But I mean, that can happen, can't it? If he just goes out and back again, then he'll be reset. Yep, I can hear you. Uh, and you probably get messages from spectators who can hear you. I'm sure you get some now. That your sound is okay? Yes. Um, I have, yeah. Just waiting here from the bloke who couldn't hear me. Anyway, I'm really chuffed that he was worried that he couldn't hear me, missing so many gems. Right. Not so many gems last night, David, in the football. They, they played very well, but they couldn't score. No, the consolation was that it makes little difference, actually, at any rate, in the first round of the knockouts, meeting uh, either uh, Ireland or Portugal or something. It's just that we may have to uh, play France in the next round. Yeah. So top spot reached. Yes, I know you can make six. Or can you on a club lead? Maybe you can. Wow. Gloria did put in a lead. Yeah. No, you heard saying that uh, they don't double cubit because they think that it helps declare a, or the, the other side more than it helps partner. Uh, and they claim that I just said some years ago to me, my partner is good enough to figure it out. I don't want to help them. <laughs> yes. I remember once when uh, I think it was Rixie Marcus was partnering John Collings and there was a long student dummy with no side entry. And Collings took his ace at the wrong moment and, and uh, said to Rixie, why didn't you show your count in the suit? And she says, oh, oh, that is for beginners. You know, my partners will always know when to take their ace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. So he'll take 12 tricks now. Yeah. 
They just finished the board uh, 21 in the other room. So, so they're bidding this hand. Okay, playing safe for 11 tricks, presumably. Yeah, that's what he is doing. He just removed his entries. Mm, his entry to the spades. So not say 12 anymore. But, of course, your main objective will always be take 11. So I remember this sort of full website here where you can just go and uh, click on any on any team in a match and click on board 22 and then you see the results at every single table for uh, that board and you can see out of the 36 tables how many somehow managed to stop in three no trumps and go down on a diamond lead how many did five clubs, how many were really lucky and did six clubs and made it. And usually you're not going to see five clubs on all 36 tables, so just like in a big pairs event, you know, there's always going to be, there, there will always be a certain number of people in the wrong contract or gone too high and been lucky or unlucky. No. It's a 2020 hand, four balanced hands, well, more or less balanced. They won't get very high, although they have a big space fit. They can't make anything. They have three clubs to lose. They have two hearts to lose. So two spades is actually the maximum for east-west. Well, he'll bid three probably in one way or another. He's a past hand, so he can bid Drury perhaps. I mean, had he not been a past hand, there are lots of people who go straight up to the four level when they've got five spades, or that used to be, but now people are realizing that's a bit excessive when they don't need to preempt so strongly with a senior suit, and they should probably only bid three on a weak hand unless they've got a singleton alongside it. Well, he has gone uh, quite rightly mm. beyond two spades. Yeah. They'd probably stop in three. But that's one too many. On a really bad day, you, you would even go down in two spades when the King of Diamonds is offside. Here you only one down. See that two no trumps promises uh, at least four trumps, so Gav Reese has a very poor hand because all those points in spades are not worth very much facing big support and the queen jack of bear. What on earth is he thinking about? Really? What, what, what is he thinking about opposite a past partner? Looking at eight losers. I mean, say partner's got four spades to the jack and add in the king of clubs. Still wouldn't be a very good game, would it? No. Obviously, the cast lie badly for east-west, which means that they lie very well for north-south. In fact, I don't think you can defeat four hearts. Ten opposite ten. But I think... Four hearts is cut. I'm wondering if he's... No, if he bids three spades, of course, South might come in if they'd stopped in... Oh, no, Trump's one. Well, these are world-class players, but I mean, it's not a good bid, three no Trumps, is it? He's facing a past hand, and he's bare in all three suits. I don't like it, but, but you know what? I, I, I think the sergeant missed something here. He's a past hand. Why did he not double one spade? 
Doesn't he have the perfect hand for a take-out double by a pass down? Well, I was just about to say that if uh, if they'd raised to two spades and that had come back to him, he would say so the best idea is to bid when it's safer to bid over one spade. Yeah. What, 22, the Italians bid to six clubs in the other room on the lead of a diamond. So that should also roll in. And maybe Lauria will stop complaining now. Well, this is ridiculously high, and it's the sort of board where afterwards they say, oh, don't worry about that four spades, we were going off in three anyway, <laughs> which can be a bit annoying if you've just lost a close game. I, don't, I just don't understand why, why Versace didn't double over one spade. That might get them to four hearts, probably not, because Versace is a past hand. So Naria wouldn't drive it to game, but even if he did, East-West would be four spades. But then maybe the North could double that. Well, I don't think, I'm not sure if they would double. No, I, I think he'll only compete to three hearts, and then he would buy in the space anyway. So, so maybe this is the best they, they can do, and let them play in four spades. Undoubled down two. No one can double four states, of course, on this auction. If it went one spade double, I expect West. I mean, he's got an ace and a king, and his partner's open brawl in the fourth seed. He's not that worried about them being able to make anything. I think he would carry on bidding uh, constructively. He would bid two no trumps, the same as he did. Have the top in uh, three spades. Maybe. Bits do no trumps. Uh, Lauria will bit three hearts. And who knows what Versace does after that. He is the one looking at the spade singles. Well, yeah, he's not going to go to game. I mean, if he comes in on, on a pass down with a 10 count, he's testing the part score. Indeed. Lovis would probably do something in third here. Anything goes. What do we know about two spades, David? Is it a two suitor? Yes, it's six to ten points, five plus spades, and five plus clubs or diamonds. And they also play two diamonds as a multi with a six card suit. Preempt in a major. Di Franco made his uh, slam by setting up hearts, so he didn't even need the spade for this. Well, she did pretty well to set up the hearts, didn't he? 
Looks like he may have had to take an early heart rough. Mm. Mm. Yes, yeah, so he had a dominant trunk swing and immediately led a heart. Yes, that was well played. He took uh, two diamond roughs. Roughed the heart good and still had a spade entry, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are many good players in Italy. People don't realize that because they always see La Ria Versace, Pocky Madala, Cementa, Dubois, and before them Fantoni Nunes, and say, well, they don't have many strong players. But of course they have. It's just that those players we see now had no chance of making it to the team, you see, because they have such good players. That board 22 played in six clubs is an absolutely perfect textbook hand for sort of beginner or intermediate card play where you've got a straightforward chance of finessing in spades, but an extra chance of uh, roughing the heart good. So you couldn't hope for a better textbook and where you should try to set up the hearts. So it's very, very instructive for, uh, you know, players who've played for a few years still trying to tune up their play. Very good hand, that. And we had twice as many spectators as at this table, than at the table with most spectators in the Sweden-France match, they have a thousand, we have two thousand. Well, I mean, when you get Loria and Versace and Roland Valls, I mean, well, and David Bird as well, well, what other table are you going to choose? Yes, you attracted the, the 62 kibitzers. We are 2,062. Oh, you're giving a thousand each to Loria and Versace, are you? In, no, 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 no. Uh, I, I, I'll give them maybe 475 each, and I, 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 I'll take uh, the 20. What's left? 50 for me? Yeah, something like that. Well, we should. The Polish players are world class as well, of course. There. Gabrice has been playing at the top level for a while. Must be quite a long time. What is it, 20, 30 years or something? And Klukowski is a sort of up and coming young guy yeah. with a very good reputation. Yes, yes, yes. Very strange body language, by the way. Did you ever see videos with him at the table? Well, only for the very first time did I see a still picture of him in today's bulletin, actually. So I didn't know much about him other than that he was very young and annoyingly good at bridge. Yeah, he often hides his, his head in his hands, leaning to the right, leaning to the left, bending down, thinking. Sometimes he, he can think for ages. Up to ten minutes with that during the Bermuda belt. But he usually did the right thing. So a response of three hearts on a past hand is not gonna be completely forcing. No, uh, th this won't make, of course. Well, we know well, it won't make because it's already two down. Well, that's why I, I'm not sure that Versace had another bid, did he? His partner didn't open a week two, and he was a past hand. 
So just a courtesy response in case uh, South had some 1718 count. Uh, I don't know that he had a four heart bid on it with a two card trump spot. But he was unlucky because the king of diamonds was offside. Had a good chance of making if uh, the king had won, so he kills. Well, he was pretty lucky to find all the middle cards there in spades. True. Straight forward three no here, and the auction would be short. One no, three no. Pass, pass, one no, three no. I can't imagine that Kukowski gets in Val against not with his collection. That 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 would be a bad, bad bit if he got in with two spades to show spades and a minor. Facing a pass partner. That would be very, very poor. I know many would do it at club level. And mm, well, that's, terrible, you, that's you, just a reflection you, on bridge in Denmark in that case, because it would be a pretty awful bid. Do you mean that your local club would come in? I don't have any. I don't have a club anymore. <laughs> uh, no. no, not but, in the inship, Red against white. No, the, the, of course they wouldn't. I'll teach them to, 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 to have sound over calls at the two vulnerable, strong six car suit or very, very strong five car suit. No, they wouldn't. And what do we have here? No problems at all. King of spades on site, so you have three spade tricks. Three spades, and ace king, ace ace. That is seven. You have to work a little. So you have to work on the diamonds. And conveniently, you can start with a double finesse at trick two because you are in the dummy. Don't you think that's how it's going to play it? Yes. When the Queen of the Diamonds is covered, then you've got no interest. Surely. He's going to play Diamonds now. It just looks right. Because setting up a club will only give you eight tricks. So you have to play on Diamonds anyway. Ooh. <laughs> well, that, that, that was unexpected. If you one more trick, but you still need a diamond trick. And even if the jack of clubs held, you wouldn't have nine certain tricks. I, I'm very surprised here, because you don't really wonder hardly, do you? I know it can't hurt you here with this layout, but you don't really like a switch to a low heart. Well, I'm really surprised here. He may survive this, but say South exits passively with the club. How is he going to play now?
Well, he's more likely to play another spade, isn't he? Why not? Okay. So now maybe he'll play a diamond. And he said, okay. Well, he, he, I mean, the spade can be his entry to the uh, blocked club, so uh, that's why he may have picked clubs first, so that he doesn't lose the third trick in clubs. Maybe he'll unblock the clubs and play diamonds hand, uh, yeah. seeing as he can't do everything. Because if a diamond loses to west, and he clears spades, you, you have no entry to, to, to the the fourth club, indeed. So he'll take his clubs now, and he has to play diamonds from hand. Yeah, so when East wins, he's not going to have a spade left. Maybe. West has played the three and five, has he? Or the five and three, yes. So he got a heart split, the ten of hearts through. Yeah, not convenient at all. Nine impacts to Poland on 23. Remember how East-West uh, went two down here in four spades? North-South did indeed find the hard fit. The other table were allowed to play there, made for 620. So South did double one spade, being a past hand. West jumped to two no. East bit three clubs, whatever, but three spades. South doubled again. And North bit four hearts. Yeah, North opened the bidding. You said that, did you? Mm. Yes, yes, North opened one club. Very, very light. Ten count. Balanced. Wow. Not my style. Right, now you can say that he had, of course, Versace is not cashing the Ace of Diamonds before he takes the first finesse because that would give two tricks to East by leading low to the ten. Then when he gets back in the dummy, he can... Uh, Finesse east for the king. He doesn't like it at all now. He could probably survive because West has a doubleton on her. Yes, I mean, he would have been okay as the cards lie if he plays the ace on the first round, but he's playing the ace on the second round, yeah, which covers more combinations. But no now he has to play a spade to dummy, take his club, and finesse diamonds on the way back. That's the way he gets to nine tricks now. Well, that's, that was a great hand to watch, wasn't it? Because we did, he would play diamonds first. first and he said he liked chances better by playing clubs, so that was really good fun to watch. Mm -hmm. uh, with Laria looking to retire, or, or at least semi-retire soon. Versace has been pushing for including the 70-year-old Giovanni Donati in the team. 
and he eventually may take the role that Lauria took with young Alfredo many years ago. We saw Donati the other day, didn't we? Were you there, David? I can't remember. No. Well, it looks like a 13, 14-year-old. Did you see a picture in the bulletin? Oh, the young guy. Wearing yes, we discussed it. Yeah, I had seen the uh, picture in the bulletin, yeah. That's when we were joking about all the young pictures that some pretty uh, elderly bridge work, people in the bridge world keep on putting up on the internet, including myself. Also, Jeff Rubens, the editor of Bridge World, follows the trend. Three stage shows a minimum with four cards support. They always break when they have four cards support. Now, we are not too happy with all his quacks. Well, gosh, if they break on that hand, that certainly backs up your description of the fact that they always break. Four, three, 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 and a minimum point count. Wow. What's the yeah. point of it? I've never understood it. Yeah, I, I, I don't like it with that hand. Uh, you, you, you're looking at eight losers in a one-note trump hand. Why must you? insist on the three level. Well, the operator is telling us that it shows a 4 3, three, three hand. Yeah, so what? What, just so partner knows that he's going to go off. <laughs> well, you see, on 24, David, the young, well, youngish Italian pair in the other room had a, <clears throat> should we say, well, disaster. Uh, the defense was awful. And they let uh, three no make. For, for a start, they had five club tricks uh, and the ace of spades. Do, do you agree with that? Yes, I'm just looking. He held up the, the ace of spades twice when they had five club tricks to take. Goodness me. And then when the Diamond Finesse lost, they still had three clubs and the Ace of Spades. He didn't play at Diamond, did he? I don't know. Yeah, he, played he, a, he, he played a Diamond then from the Jack X into the Ace 10 and giving him an extra trick instead of taking... Yeah, I see. That's the sort of disaster that can happen to anyone, but um, it's unbelievable in, at this level. What a shocking defence. Indeed. Right. Well, Mr. Klukowski has learnt that he should not lead away from a king. Indeed, it would have been strophic in diamonds if Declara put up the right card from die. I thought he would lead a club, but he's led his singleton trump. Yeah, I think Declara makes this. 
Well, uh, that's paid leader. Of... Helped him a lot, didn't they? They picked up the Queen of Trumps. Indeed. Uh, yes, it did. You would have let a club, is that what you're saying? Yes, yeah, I don't know. single is very risky, and leading from a king is incredibly risky. So leading from uh, flow or four to the end, that looks okay. Even leading from four to the jack is uh, relatively safe compared with leading from a queen or a king. Although leading from jacks and has been laughed at for decades, it's not such a dangerous lead as leading from a higher honour. Ah, yeah. oh, now he has got the hand that's worth over calling two spades. There we go, just what you were saying, six good spades. Sure. Um, one no trump. Well, I know that many like to open one no trump with five four two two. Personally, I wouldn't do it here because I'm strong enough to reverse if if, if I open one diamond and partner response one spade, and then at least I can show my shape. But I won't criticize one no trump. Uh, I'm never going to criticize the sergeant anyway. He's my hero. If I, if I were to find a player to play a hand for me to save my life, David, I would choose Versace. Hmm. Well, it's difficult to compare them with the some of the top Americans. I don't know. I, being English, I'll choose Forrester or Robson. Of course you would. Did you notice that I didn't choose a Dane? Yes, I couldn't um, couldn't believe that. Peter Lunt was saying how the Danish seniors had started off incredibly well and then slipped backwards a bit since then. But I mean, what do they expect when they leave? You know, their best senior players just commentating. Absolutely right. I mean, we are national champions. We should have been playing. All the players on the team actually finished behind us. They all took part in the championships. Way behind, they were, I think, one VP. VP was behind, you know. Clear, you have, clear margin. Would you have played? I played. No, would you? Uh, have oh, played would I? In the European. <laughs> I see what you mean. No, 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 the, the team was selected before that. No, no. Of course, do you, do, you, do you think that I would have preferred a commentary uh, uh, over playing? I have no idea, but you have to be in unbelievably good physical shape to play bridge for 10 days at this level. How, how are you? I mean, you go out jogging every day, do you go to the gym on Tuesday nights? Uh -huh, no, but I go out every day to jog, yes, for an hour, every day, I do. Do you think it's... Wow, that's pretty good. Do you think it's less tasking, uh, sorry, taxing, um, uh, doing three matches here a day, commentary, at 48 boards? I'm not oh, so sure. Know, of course it's less taxing than playing. Of course it is. Playing is unbelievably stressful. I'm in bed by nine o'clock every evening. You see, getting up at five, and then I run for half an hour or so before breakfast. Don't you do that, Dave? No, I have to make a regular habit of going um, down the stairs breakfast because 
Breakfast is served on the ground floor. By the way, this is the shortest day of the year. Today is 21st of June. Sorry, I mean longest, obviously. No, we do not have Midnight Sun here. They're in Iceland, Norway, Sweden, Finland. Do you think um, Three Hearts showed shortage in both months? I do. I actually know. I can see it. After those so calls. They preferred in just suit. Is that the general idea? Mm -hmm. With hearts, he bid three diamonds, yeah. Exactly. Transfer Lebensall. Yep. Well, modified. I think they call it, uh, they, they may not call it, but I think it's known as Rumpel Soul. Not Evan Soul and not Rupert Soul, but Rumpel Soul. H have you heard about it? I think that's I what it's called. Now. It's a I've mixture. Heard, about, heard of it now. It's a mixture of, 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 of Lebanon Soul and, 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 and Rupert Soul. So it became Rumpel Soul. One spectator tells me, weird to have the longest day today and only three matches. Awful having to wait till tomorrow for more bridge. <laughs> you know what? Happy because today they have two football matches actually. At six o'clock and uh, at nine o'clock Central European time. So we can do everything today. We've also got the very biggest debate on the uh, leaving the EU held at, uh, in the Wembley Arena with a crowd of 6,000 and 20,000 asked for tickets, three speakers on each side. Uh, we're going out for a meal and going out at 6.30 so we can back for it, be back for 8 o'clock and watch it because my wife likes to watch <laughs> programs live if she doesn't like to see them recorded. Why, why, why only 6,000 uh, at Wembley? Uh, it's it's that, that, not the Wembley that. Stadium, it's the Wembley Arena, oh. which, which is a, a sort of pop uh, venue, okay. basically. The chairman it was say they could stadium and fill that, but I mean, not much point in having a large audience anyway when it's just a question and answer and debating meeting. It'll be worth seeing anyway. Indeed. I noticed that many papers have taken sides now. Do you think that will influence people? New well, I mean, there's only one more day left after after today, so it's too late now. Basically, a lot of the papers are having during the week supporting one side and Sunday caught another, hoping they won't lose too many, too many readers. Yeah, normally you would influence a few. But anyway, the odds have swung violently towards Remain recently, and the stock market shot up by 3.5% because of that. Yes, and, and the pound will also be stronger if you remain. Yes, I mean, the pound is okay at the moment, but the the people some are supporting the Remain are saying it would dip 15% if we left. Anyway, we're not meant to talk about that. How interesting is this? Right, not very interesting with the Ace of Hearts on the side. No, no. Yes, I know we are supposed to, to focus on the bridge. It's not always easy. When we do so many matches, we, we are small who have, have to do 37 sessions and, and some bonus matches on that. Wow, look at that nine cost you spitting. 
Yeah, but it's not running. Which is a bit disappointing, isn't it? You would normally expect to, to make slam here. But you can't. Yeah, it's only four cards missing. That's pretty... Four cards shared between three hands and it doesn't run. Well, North has passed. Is East going to pass? I think three spades from South in the third seat, perhaps. Or are they too disciplined for that? I'll try a wild guess here that West will become declarer in a diamond contract. Well, Any be bet? careful. You stick your neck out too far, you might damage it. Here's a question from a spectator. If the UK leaves the EU, will they still play in the Euro Brits Championships? Absolutely yes. That makes no difference. Uh, lots of Iceland is not, and Turkey are not in the uh, EU. Lots of other countries. Exactly. Israel. Mind you, they're not in Europe, actually. One way of looking at it. But if they weren't allowed to play in Europe, where, where would they be allowed to play? Exactly. I mean, no, that's nations. the whole point. No, I'm very oh. pleased they are allowed, anyway. Ah, he's begun with a double, the young guy. Now, if it went all past, you think he would be happy? It it won't. No, it's not likely to, but on the other hand, he's not likely to hear anything that's going to help him at all. So I think he should have bid down the middle. He's got, <clears throat> sorry, three possible losers, so it looks a perfect five diamond bid to me. I mean, why should your partner cover two of them when you've got two singletons without the ace. Right. Thought he might have taken a punt. At six, when partner jumps to four hearts. Well, he's still thinking that if partner's got two aces, that he may bid six. I mean, that was the point of uh, doubling first, to double and bid five diamonds, to show partner the way if he did have two aces. Ace King of Hearts may or not may not be any use to him. You know what? He may he may be bidding six soon anyway. Because his partner may not sit for it. If they're well, five hearts is safer. No. Not a chance in a million that a good pair would uh, do that. Not offering anything. He thought about it and wisely decided to pass. Well, if his partner had even had three hearts or even two, why on earth should he pull a jump to four hearts? Good point. But you know, how many players, club players, say, well, I can't really take all that dummy to avoid in partner's suit. I'd better rescue him and, and have it for five hearts. Yes. Well, good instruct instruction on hand. The point if is, though, if Bukowski was playing with such a partner as that, he would have bid five diamonds in the first place. It's only because these guys trust each other right to the last last inch that they can afford to risk the diamond for possible slam. I'm asked if, if, if five diamonds could be 
be mistaken for a cubit for heart. No way. The hand that was too good of cause Feynman's on his first turn. And if you weren't certain about it, you would recall that he hadn't made cubids in spades or clubs, and you normally make a cubid in the cheaper suit. So no way could he make a cubid in diamonds if he had no control in the black suits. Well, of course, you're most welcome to, to, to ask questions. That's what we are here for, among other things. And when I had, had my meeting with the EBL officials in Tel Aviv uh, a couple of weeks ago, they emphasized that we encourage uh, the spectators to ask questions. Well, when I was on with Peter Lunt a couple of days ago, he uh reflected that and said, so please, you know, please kind of ask us any sort of questions, you know, <laughs> and immediately we were right in the middle of some interesting four heart contracts and I get a question, oh, two boards ago, could they have made three diamonds if they'd led the jack of clubs? <laughs> I thought, oh no, you know, how can I possibly answer that when I'm trying to work out what on earth's going on in four hearts here? Of course, questions on the bidding and so on, we can easily fit in, but not analysis of previous hands. No. Sometimes it can be a little too much. It was in the previous match, Poland against Norway. I've I got hundreds of private messages. And obviously, I couldn't respond. Perfectly accepted. How many came from Scunthorpe? Mm, not a single, but many from, from English uh, players, actually. Not least Ben Green, Benji, the England coach, isn't he, normally? Not, not here, but he has been many, many times. Yeah, some, sometime, sometime coach, yeah. The one stage is not exactly the contract we want to comment on, but what can we do? The Clara has five spade tricks and a heart trick, so he only needs one extra trick, which he can set up in clubs. Um, and I'm told that this contract is very interesting. Why is it interesting? Uh, I can't see how. Even if it lets... Oh, it was a joke. Thank you, Marco. Marco, Marco has been busy as well, runner-up. I wouldn't choose that ID. I don't want to be a runner-up all the time. I want to win. Well, I wouldn't mind being a runner-up all the time. That's a good record. Saying this, this bidding one heart, one spade, and he passes is not very common because quite often the uh, staff and will be able to uh, contest uh, this level rather than sell out of the one level. So with any sort of shortage in spades, really, South should reopen with a double, even if he's got a minimum, because his partner may have a reasonable hand with good spades. So the only task, really, is when uh, you've got some sort of length in in spades, which is what he's got. I mean, Versace he hasn't heard a, a heart raise, hasn't heard a nigger double, so he doesn't think he's missing too much. What could they have done in diamonds? They, well, no, they play this king and a rough and king of diamonds off here. Yeah. Ace of hearts as well, so it's fair enough. Yeah, I'm still surprised that, that Laria didn't double. He has those minors, he has a seven count. Isn't that good enough for a negative double? 
It's the one level. Yeah, usually I'm amazed how light people are prepared to make negative doubles, particularly over sort of highish two level overcalls. They tend to err on the bold side. Anyway, they played it quickly, which is all we can ask for. Did we say anything about Forrester uh, and Robson? Got a message here. I can't a bit. But what what was mentioned about Forrester or Robson? Did we mention them? Yes, you said you would have liked this Archie to play a contract if your life depended on it, and I was saying I'd have chosen Forrester or right. Robson partly because I'm English. Uh, I see. To save your life. Now I remember. Yeah. If it looked like a no-play contract, I'd have spent quite a long time, around five years, deciding which expert I wanted to play it. All very natural. Remember, two diamonds here is alerted because it is limited to 14 high card points. Because if South had been stronger than that, he would bit two clubs, got silly. The Lauria way of play got silly. Modified it. I think it was last year, or maybe the year before. So he modified it, got silly. So it's now 15 plus the stronger hand it is the 15 plus hand. Which is good in the sense that if you don't bid two clubs, if you bid two diamonds or two hearts, you're limited to 14. Which makes it much, much easier for a responder. Do they still play that two clubs shows 15 plus or a club suit? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's still two-way ambiguous. That's right. So you and I again tomorrow morning, David, and, and two yes, other, uh, it's nine o'clock. See there. Yeah. You want for Bulgaria, Finland, and later Norway against Poland. Right. Yes. Well, I'll write up the Norway, Poland one. That's the one Mark Horton will be assuming. They're both good matches, but how are Finland doing? I know they, they won their first eight matches. Have they dropped out of the top six yet? Oh, oh, oh! Yes, they have. They're, they're down in fifteens. I, I think I said that uh, uh, early on that I, I don't think they would last playing four-handed. They would be exhausted at at some point. Maybe it happened earlier than I expected, but it has well, happened. In effect, Monica are playing four A because they've got three guys playing the whole time. Too. Yeah, but, but but playing with players, it's true that three players play all the time, Helena Selgamo and the Milton. That's right. I mean, if they get a middle number, the, uh, the compliment to the anchor pair of Helena and Helgamo, if they're playing four-handed with a sponsor at the other table, I mean, in such a tough field as this, they just must be uh, pretty close to the world's top pair, if not first place. Well, I'm asked why didn't Finland pick a third pair then, even if just to play occasionally? We can address that question to Marco.
you may know that. Maybe finances. Probably. Question on money. Well, they couldn't afford to send two more players for, for two weeks. That's my guess. But if Marco can hear me, he can probably elaborate on it. But, you know, it's kind of strange because small nations, federations like Cyprus, and Belarus, Georgia, they all send six players. But of course they only have one team there, whereas Finland has teams uh, in the Open and the women's. Well, some of these teams, they must be funded and they're probably staying in a sort of Martin sort of launching it in the major hotels. I mean, it's pretty tough even for someone like England. I know we have to send a lot of teams out, but it does cost a lot of money. And the club players who contribute to it every time they play in their game and another 20p or whatever goes to the EBU, some of them are not too happy, I dare say. So here we got the answer for from Marco. Money, time, issue. Perhaps no pair available, good enough to play. Marco, well you're not available. I know you're a good player. Perhaps you know the answer to this question, and I've just been asked, Roland, do you know why Mexroth is playing with Zia instead of Rodwell at the USBC Seniors? No, 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 I don't. No, I could answer the question, but uh, my answer was the same as yours. Oh, Rodwell is not old enough, so the kibitzers know the answer. Thank you. Rodwell's 59. Well, they would, of course, be, have been playing in the Bermuda Bowl if they'd qualified. Oh, yes, sure. Right, well that wasn't a very spectacular board, but we're just coming to the last one. And in case that's very exciting, it looks like it might be okay. Time for me to say thank you to our very efficient view graph operator, served us uh, magnificently. And without their kind offices, we wouldn't be able to follow it at all. That's absolutely great. I know that's Roland was saying, well, don't you think it's just as arduous to commentate? I don't really, but it's certainly just as arduous to be a view graph operator, and some do it for, what, eight hours a day. That's absolutely magnificent. So many thanks. Thanks to those players who I regard as like being the actors on the setting us with all the entertainment and excitement that we enjoy so much. Thanks for coming along in such large numbers to watch this match. Absolutely great, 2,400 at one stage. Wow, that's really marvellous. And uh, we enjoy watching who is commentating just as you do. And the fact that we can see all this action before our eyes as it occurs is, uh, again, thanks to BBO who provide it free of charge. And their software has always been good, but it seems to get better over the ages. And now that I've managed to understand how I can even save deals automatically, which I didn't manage to work out how to do for about, <laughs> for about five years, I like it even better. It's absolutely great. And you can save away your own private hands that you play or all the ones that happen in the championships. So 
Many thanks to BBO and to the people working hard in Hungary. Thank you, David. Uh, one of Trump 12-14, two diamonds game forcing relay, two hearts natural, two spades natural, two no, no spade fit. So West has, has shown 2-4 in the majors. So, so they never rebid. They never rebid one a trump on a single tonight. Take it, which some players do. Mm. No. But when you have 16 points, you don't have to insist on the 6-2 fit. Just three. I, I, I can understand. You know that you have at least 20 tie between the hands, so 3 no will probably play well. And it will. So our matches for you tomorrow with voice. We have to move uh, Belgium, Germany and Bulgaria, Finland. Then Norway against Poland. And then a match from the women's, France against Denmark. And finally, from the Open, England against Germany. So another great day in prospect. Spades are 4-1, but with the 10 coming down, that doesn't represent any sort of problem. No, looks like a good move leading towards the jack. And as you said, 10 dropping. He knows all about the spades now. I'll give him 11 twists. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye for now, and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.